Welcome to Oahu, the third largest of the Hawaiian Islands. Known as the gathering place and home of the state capital, this island is going to be our travel destination. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We start at the Iolani Palace in downtown Honolulu. The Royal Palace starting with Kamehameha III and then ending with Queen Liliuokalani in 1893. The only royal palace on U.S. soil, this building is now a National Historic Landmark listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Meticulously restored to its original state, the palace is open to the public for guided tours, allowing tourists to visit the reception areas like the throne room and private suites on the second floor, such as the imprisonment room. Videography is not allowed inside, but I would highly recommend giving it a visit. Head over to the Diamond Head Crater Lake to be able to get panoramic views on top of this extinct volcano. Diamond Head is a volcano cone that is also the most popular Hawaii state park. A 1.8 mile hike and the last 1 tenth being all stairs and steep to the summit, I'd recommend getting there early in the morning to beat the crowds and get the best shots to overlook the city. Hawaii's number one visitor attraction, Pearl Harbor Memorial, is free for all visitors, but it will need tourists to reserve a time slot. The memorial marks and commemorates the resting place of over 1,000 sailors and Marines killed during the attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. Accessible only by boat and visited by 2 million people annually, it is a solemn and sombering experience. An attempt was made to hike the 11-mile stairway to heaven, but unfortunately the weather wasn't great. I'd recommend doing this hike on a completely sunny day, but prepare to bring a rain jacket. Ending our activities near Honolulu, we spend our day at the iconic Waikiki Beach. As a popular surf beach, there are many surfers of all different backgrounds all throughout the day with many surf rentals along the coast. One of the well-known surfers in Waikiki, Duke Kahanamoku, made this beach a surfing hotspot. Over the mountains, you reach Byodoin Temple. This temple, which translates to Temple of Equality, is a non-denominational Buddhist that is located in the Valley of the Temple's Memorial Park. Dedicated in August of 1968, Yodo Inn commemorates the 100th anniversary of the first Japanese immigrants to Hawaii. Along the coast, stop by Lanai Lookout getting some views of the ocean, cliffs, and the nearby islands. Makapu'u Point Lighthouse Trail is a 2.5 mile hike and paved for all hiking skill levels. There is no shade, so be prepared for the sun or hike this early in the morning, as well as be prepared for the summit to get very windy. The lookout points are something that you don't want to miss. Halona Blowhole Lookout is a rock formation and blowhole that overlooks the Pacific Ocean. Located right off of the highway, hike down the Halona Beach Cove also known as Eternity Beach or Cockroach Cove and experience the crashing waves. Kailua Beach Park is a fantastic place to go kayaking. With many rentals nearby, grab yourself some gear and head towards the canal. Waimea Valley Botanical Garden has 52 themed gardens and home to over 5,000 tropical plants, Hawaiian and endangered. Towards the end of the garden, you reach Waimea Falls, a 45-foot waterfall that requires a life vest and water shoes to swim. Pillbox Hike is a local hike that requires proper hiking shoes. The steep 1.8-mile hike features two military bunkers left from World War II. Now, these bunkers provide a panoramic view of Lanikai Beach. 
Number one Oahu's attraction, the Polynesian Cultural Center displays the spirit of six Polynesian villages, luau, and an evening show. Each village has a separate part of this theme park for visitors to learn more about the islands of Hawaii, Fiji, Aotearoa, otherwise known as New Zealand, Samoa, Tahiti, and Tonga. A delicious buffet contains many of the local foods and a ticket to see the evening show, Ha! The Breath of Life. If you're interested in some snorkeling, head to Pupakea Beach Park to catch an abundance of sea creatures and fish. For more snorkeling and soaking up the sun, Waimea Bay Beach provides stunning views, white sand, and huge waves. A few of the beachgoers are cliff diving, but I would proceed with caution. Parking is free but limited, so I'd recommend coming early or getting paid parking nearby. Known to the locals, Chinaman's Hat is great for kayaking and overlooking the small island. It is also a popular spot to take pictures overlooking the Oahu coast. We end our vacation at Sunset Beach, best known for obvious reasons as one of the best places to catch the sunset. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification button to get notified every single time I post a new video. If you liked this video, I have a playlist created where you can go and travel the world with me and see what I do in my free time, which will be listed up here as well as in the description box below.